what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be continuing working on our mobile home i know i haven't been really uploading any videos lately but that is because we have been very busy with uh basically a lot of things we actually just moved recently so um you know june we have been coming here to work on stuff that i haven't really been filming a lot uh but we actually have a lot of things done which later on in this video i will be talking uh more about that stuff but like I said, we just moved into a new house, so uh, we are going to be remodeling that house. And of course, I will be showing that to you guys and post posting those videos on YouTube. Basically, in today's video, what we are going to be doing is uh, working on the guest bedroom, the second bedroom in this house. And also completing the roof, which will be most likely next week or maybe even in two weeks. But uh, yeah, we definitely need to get uh, started on that because it is already September and you know weather is actually really nice still it's very warm so uh we still have a lot of time but we definitely need to close up this roof because we started the roof and we did not finish it yet so uh basically that's what we need to do that's the number one thing that needs to be done before this winter but first we will be working on the guest bathroom we already bought the tiles and everything uh we actually ordered the sinks and vanities and everything like that uh, a few months ago and that actually just came in so after we install the tiles in the guest bedroom we will be installing the sinks and the cabinets in uh in both of the bathrooms they're actually really nice design um vanities very modern very european style so i'm very excited to see how this house actually turns out it's gonna be really nice but anyway guys tomorrow is waiting a big day because we are going to be starting that uh guest bathroom and then next week we will be starting the roof and the drywall and everything like that but anyway see you guys tomorrow once we start that second bathroom So now it is time to get into the guest bathroom. 
I honestly don't really know which bathroom is nicer, if the guest bathroom is nicer or if the master bathroom is nicer. They're both really nice, but this one just has a different tile. They have like a 3D tiles. And there we go. That is how it looks like. Very nice in my opinion. Except that part, I know it's not really finished yet, uh, but that is because we ran out of one tile just because one tile or like a few tiles were actually cracked in the package so we couldn't use them. Some of the tiles we actually managed to use by cutting off the corners because as you guys can see this tile is full but on the sides we have to cut them because they wouldn't really match. So I think we actually did pretty good with this. It looks very nice like I said especially from this perspective the light is actually shined onto these 3D tiles that look very nice and very modern. I really like the look of this. Of course, we do have the shower head. This one is actually a thin shower head. The other one is like a more thicker one. But it also has the LED feature. There it is. It's also actually wider, which is kind of nicer. And I actually like the LED uh, thin shower head a little bit more than the thicker one in the end. On pictures, I like the thicker one more, but this one I think I actually like more in the end. You also have these controls to switch it from uh, the shower head to here. So really nice features. This house is definitely made to be uh, very modern. You also have the LED mirror as well. And here we also have the controls. Here is turn on the fan. And this fan is also very unique because it also has a speaker inside. And this mirror also actually has um, a speaker inside of it. We have all the controls uh, here. So yeah, this this bathroom, like I said, is made to be very nice. Here is the floor of the of the shower. Looks really nice. We chose a little bit of a different kind of towel to put on the floor of the shower. And here we have uh, the floor tiles for. Uh, the floor of the bathroom and they actually look a little bit nicer than the ones that we put in the master bathroom The one that we put in the master bathroom are a little bit more kind of green I don't know they're a little bit weird, but the, they were the cheapest one that we could have find uh, But this one was a little bit more expensive, but these are a little bit nicer than the other ones And we also have the glacier bay toilet Very nice and cheap $99 toilet, but it is very nice and practical. It also has uh, the flush buttons down here instead of the levers. So yeah, everything in this bathroom is looking very nice. Of course, we have uh, the vanities here. We didn't install the cabinets yet because we just didn't have time for that. That isn't such a big deal. We just need to get done with the most important parts. But here's the view from the outside. We'll cover up that hole for now. So yeah, very nice bathroom. I like it a lot.
Alrighty guys, it is two weeks later now from the moment that I filmed that intro and that means that we have already done the guest bathroom, put in all of the drywall and everything like that and the roof. So now is the time that I'm going to be showing you guys all of this stuff, how all these rooms look like. So I'm going to start in the master bedroom and the master bathroom. So here is the master bedroom. This is how it all looks like. As you guys can see, we already painted uh, the ceiling, the walls and everything. We do have to fix some stuff because there is like some scratches because we are still working on this uh, room. But everything in here is pretty much complete except the floor. Uh, right now it is plywood, but we are going to be putting uh, carpet in here, probably gray carpet. And here we have these sliding barn doors, which are actually very modern. So this, of course, leads up to the master bathroom, which I will open now. There it is. Looks very nice, of course. You guys have already seen this, but it is looking very nice. Much nicer than before, because we already have, you know, all the walls painted and everything like that. Here's the shower head, which has, of course, the LED. And here is what we added to this bathroom. As you guys can see, we added this uh, LED mirror and also these vanities right here. It looks very nice, as you guys can see, this European style, kind of what new hotels have. Looks very cool. Here are the cabinets, soft close feature of course, so that is very nice. I really like the look of this, it's very modern, very nice and I, I would even say it's way too expensive for this house in my opinion, it's not really even that big of a house, but we are putting really high quality materials in here. So now we will get in to behind this door which is the hallway. As you guys can see, we already have all the drywall in here. Everything is already patched up, sanded out, so all we have to do is put primer on this and then paint it to a gray color. So here is the boiler. This will also be the laundry room. Uh, we will have the laundry. I don't know, we might do uh, a stacked um, washing and drying machine. We'll see what kind of deals we get. We might do a stacked one because it will definitely save a lot of space. And here's the furnace. As you guys can see, everything is all connected. That's the roof. You guys just saw the process of this. So now I am going to go into the hallway, the extended hallway here. Here's the existing addition that was made previously. This was a uh, kind of space that was never used by the previous owner. All that was here was um, this washing machine, which we are going to sell most likely. And the water pump right here. It is, you know, a very big mess for now, but we are, of course, remodeling it all the time. Here's how it looks like. We also have the cathedral ceilings right over here, so it's going to look very nice and open. And here, this wall will actually all be opened uh, and this is going to be the living room and here is the third uh, bedroom a little bit smaller bedroom the smallest out of the three but we are actually thinking of extending this wall just a little bit just to give it some room for the closet we also have to add a window here this is of course going to be closed here there's not going to be an opening here the only way we can get into the living room will be through here so the layout that we have right now is not exactly how it's going to be in the end because, like I said, we still have to work on this house a little bit. But in the end, it will be very nice. So like I was saying previously, we actually bought a new house and we bought a house that needs to be remodeled. It's not like a house that we can't live in uh, because the house is actually in really good condition. Uh, just, you know, it has old materials, it has old baseboards, carpets, floors. Uh, old kitchen, old tiles, and everything like that. So we are going to be uh, replacing that. So I'm very excited to show you guys how we remodel that house. So stay tuned for future videos. I know I haven't been really uploading many videos 
um, but you know that doesn't mean that I won't be uploading videos in the future because of course I will I have many more videos to come but we just have to wait for the moment that we have all the materials and that we are ready to remodel the new house but other than that it is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed please drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video